this particular room in Chinta's office is known as the room of mathematics or in Bengali, Onkir Ghar. And I was browsing through the shelves uh, today and I came across this title, Trigonometric Delights. It's written by Ellie Moore and published by University Press. I'll put the name in the ticker. It's such a beautiful book and I, I want to tell you a little bit about it. Um, I came across it first time about three to four years ago. There is a chapter in this book that goes back to the origins of trigonometry. Uh, many of you know this, that modern trigonometry sort of originated in India, mainly in the work of Arjabhatta. So here is the problem that Arjabhatta and in fact many, many, many ancient mathematicians are, were trying to solve. How to measure the length of an arc in a circle? You see, we don't have a curved ruler. All our rulers are straight. Even if you want to curve a ruler, suppose if you want to do that, how can we get a perfect curvature? It's hard to physically construct a curved ruler. So, uh, what Arjabhatta did was pretty ingenious. He said that, okay, we don't really have to measure the length of the arc. We will simply make a table that will convert chord lengths with arc lengths. So, you tell me the length of the chord between two points in the circumference and I'll tell you what is the approximate length of the arc between those two points. Okay, so how are we going to do that? So, Arjavattu used elementary geometry like Pythagoras theorem and stuff like that to solve this table. So, he created a table which contained chord lengths and arc lengths. In fact, in Chinta's geometry module in Math Olympiad program geometry module, we do this construction from scratch. It's so interesting and it, it takes you to an in an end-to-end -end journey in uh, mathematics. Even if you are not a student of Chinta, I will strongly suggest that you get hold of this book and go through that particular chapter where this construction, this development, this origin story of mathematics is given. Arjubhatto went one step ahead of that. He said, we don't even want to say what is the length of the arc. Let's say what ratio it is with the whole circumference. So, what does that mean? Suppose the length of the chord is one unit. The length of the chord is one centimeter or one unit. It's a unit radius circle and the length of the chord is one unit. So, Arjabhatta can tell you by using his own, made, uh, his own table, he can tell you that the length of the arc is exactly one-sixth of a circle or the entire circumference. So, you see how he did a clever thing. He did not tell you exactly what the length of the arc is. He just said, what portion of the circumference is trapped between those two endpoints? What ratio is that arc with the entire circumference? So, now whenever you see one sixth of a circumference, you immediately know that the length of the chord joining them is one unit or the unit length of the radius. After Ajabhatto, the Arabs uh, took his work and further developed it, and then the Europeans did it. And that's a fantastic story altogether. I will strongly suggest again, look into this book, Trigonometric Delights by Ellie Moore, and have a lot of fun. This is uh, part of the uh, book review series of Chinta. So next day, I'll talk about, I want to talk about more books with all of you, uh, books that I have read. Why don't you tell me a little bit about the books that you have read and found extremely exciting? Maybe we can learn from each other a little bit more. Okay. So, um, have a great day. And oh, I wanted to show you something. This is a cup that one of my friends gifted me. It has a lot of math on it. It's kind of fun, isn't it? Anyway, let me know about the books that you have, uh, that you have had fun with. And uh, I'll come back with an, another video pretty soon.
all right take care bye